You're watching FE Exam Prep with Anthony Fasano from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, we're going to determine the distance a ball travels. A question on this topic would typically be found in the dynamic section of the FE Exam, and therefore will give you a better understanding of what you can expect during the actual exam. This Pass the FE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. This week's problem was created and solved by Enrique Ivers, an engineer in training. Enrique, take it away. In this example, we'll determine the distance of an object struck at a 45 degree angle. Problems like this one are common on the FE. The problem statement reads, a golfer on level ground attempts to drive a golf ball across a 900 foot pond, hitting the ball so that it travels initially at 200 feet per second. The ball travels at an initial angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal plane. We're then asked, how far will the golf ball travel and does it clear the pond? The provided possible answers are A, 638 feet, the ball does not clear the pond, B, 847 feet, the ball does not clear the pond, C, 940 feet, the ball does clear the pond, and D, 1,240 feet, the ball does clear the pond. We should refer to the dynamic section within the FE handbook. We can also search for something like projectile motion, and we'll find the following on page 118. Referring to page 118, we find the following equations. The elevation of the ball above the ground is y equals v sub y zero t minus gt squared over 2 equals v sub 0 t sine of theta minus gt squared over 2, where g is the gravitational constant and t is time. The horizontal distance of the ball above the ground is x equals v sub 0 t cosine theta. We can create a visual representation similar to what is provided on page 118 of the handbook. We recall that the initial velocity of the ball is 200 feet per second at a 45 degree angle to the horizontal plane. Next, we'll utilize the provided equations and create a system of equalities to eliminate variables. We know that when the ball hits the ground, y equals zero, and v sub zero t sine theta equals gt squared over two. Solving for t, the time to impact is t equals two v sub zero sine theta over g. We substitute the time to impact into the expression for x to obtain an expression for the range x equals v sub zero times two v sub zero sine of theta over g cosine theta. We can then simplify this to x equals two v sub zero squared over g times sine of theta times cosine of theta. We substitute in our known values, 45 degrees for theta, 200 feet per second for the initial velocity, v sub zero, and 32.17 feet per second squared for our gravitational constant, g. We can then solve for x, and we find that the ball travels approximately 1,243 feet. This most closely aligns with answer D, which states that the ball travels 1,240 feet and does clear the 900 foot pond. Accordingly, we choose this answer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam will publish videos weekly. 
So please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments that I will read and respond to in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a problem that you need solved. Pass the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.